So what we have here is one of my absolute favourite lizards, the bearded dragon. I kept these as pets as a child and a teenager. I kept them in my bird aviary with my birds. And I'd keep them for a short time and then let them go. These guys have loads of personality. They are easily tamed. After a few days of feeding them and keeping them in my bird aviary, they'd relax, they'd put their frill down and they'd become really handleable. You can see he's got a little bone in the ridge of the beard, bones that go down, up and down. See, he can deflate those right back. He just looks normal. And he also uses his ribs to inflate his body to make him look twice the size. So if I can get him to relax, his body goes down really small. If you have a listen, he's really hollow. That's air in there to make himself inflate. He's got this beautiful yellow mouth. Let's get him to relax a bit. There, see? Look, I'm touching him around the face. You wouldn't think this lizard was captured from the wild. They're one of the most, second to blue tongues, they're one of the most handleable lizards. They are fantastic. These spikes on the body, to look at you'd think you wouldn't feel confident touching them because there's big spikes here, but they are really soft. The spikes themselves are hard, but as you move your hand across, they all just flatten down because they're attached to really loose skin. Just around here too, you can see the big spikes. He is fantastic. And when the beard's deflated, you can see it, the bones here pushing back in that area. Makes him look like he's got gills. Just love the hands. I love these guys.